Aloha! Welcome to the Elsa Flores Studio. Thank you for joining me for another studio blog. And today I'm super excited because I have a secret. Do you want to know what the secret is? Okay, I'll tell you. The secret is that I'm about to jump on a plane in the next day and go to my beloved island of Kauai and so stoked. I am so ready. And I was a little torn. I'm not sure. I wasn't sure that I should be leaving my work in the, at this moment since my exhibit at the Fremont Gallery in South Pasadena is coming up in November. Today, it's, it's, we're now at the end of September. But I realized why I'm being called back to the island. The universe has some very special uh, work for me to do there. And I've got some practical work to do there as well. It will be a working vacation. I am taking along a, a professional photo printer because I've digitized all of my co old collection of the best of my photography, and I'm so excited because I've been a photographer my entire career, and I've showed my photographs internationally, so it's really great to be able to present them all in a gallery space. I'm just really excited about that, and thank you, Gil Cardenas because if it wasn't for your generosity, I wouldn't have that printer which you gifted to me. And I will, on this trip, be able to actually finish that suite of photographs I have promised you. So you'll be getting that, Gil. Thank you. So another thing that I will be doing on Kauai is working on some small paintings and working on some more studio blogs because I have so much video that's in the can. But since I, got, became, well, since I became engrossed in the paintings in the last few weeks, I haven't had the time or energy to sit and edit. Edit is very time consuming. And I have been pretty exhausted working these midnight hours, so it's really hard to kind of stay focused and, and do that because once I get to editing, I'm sitting there for hours. It's sort of timeless awareness for me. So we'll have more of the work. I know I haven't shown myself painting very much, but I do have so much footage of that. So I will be doing that so you can see the progressions of some of these works. And uh, I've been documenting that, so that's always fun, sort of kind of checking out the time lapse of, of a painting and seeing how that works. So so we're going to be doing that, and I've got some practical business to attend to. One of the businesses, businesses, the isness that I must attend to is the isness of some critters that are eating up my little Hawaiian hideaway, Halemaya, and... It's time for my friends, the termites, to go to termite heaven, and I will be sending them off with love. And another thing that I have to do is on my last trip there, my car kind of exploded on the way up a mountain to the Grand Canyon of the Pacific, the Waimea Canyon. And it was during a fiery energy period in my life. There's a lot of stuff on the last trip, a lot of fire energy. I did a lot of work with the fire. So I've got a fire going here, so you can see. So it blew up. But the crazy and funny and insane thing about car repairs, foreign car repairs on Kauai is it's really hard to find parts on such a remote island. So I am literally carrying a radiator on board with me to repair my car. So those practicalities on a grander scale, the probably a more important gift of this trip for me is for detoxification. I've been working late nights and doing pretty well, keeping myself healthy, eating lots of superfoods, keeping myself covered up so I'm not, you know, getting paint in my skin, but still the fumes kick, kick up. And last night I felt a headache after a session with a large painting. So that signaled my body was kind of basically saying I have kind of reached a limit. So it's time to detox. Perfect timing. And not only that, but didn't I tell you we were going to have at least one or two more heat waves in September? We're close to the end of September now. Just We just passed the fall equinox, and it was glorious. Did you guys see that? It was a full moon equinox with the moon and Venus just tailing her, orbiting together. It was so beautiful. In fact, if you get some binoculars, a good pair, even a junkie pair, I saw 
Jupiter's moons today with a little junky pair of binoculars, with a great pair of binoculars, or with a telescope, of course. Amazing. You can see the moons very clearly. Jupiter is very close to us right now. So keep your head to the sky. Yeah. So end of September, and what's happening? We are about to have a major heat wave. It's going to be in the hundreds. It started today. I felt the heat today. So I couldn't be leaving town at a more opportune ta time. I am so grateful that this timing is going to happen that I will miss that heat because it's just too intense doing any work in the studio when the heat is kicked up like that. It's just really, really difficult and um I get a little lethargic because of the heat and the fumes. So, perfect. I'm going to go to Kauai. I'm going to detox. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to eat clean, island-grown, organic food. I'm going to be drinking spring waters, living waters from my beloved mama, Kauai, from the spring up the street from me. I'm going to be visiting my beautiful Ohana, all the beautiful friends and family I have there on the island and, and exercising and swimming and walking and all that great stuff, you know, being in the water. It's all about the water and the oceans always call me there. And I want to feel this, this change of seasons. You can really feel it's subtle, but you could feel fall in the air. Plus, surf starts kicking up and it's so exciting. There's a buzz. Everyone's got their surfboards on their cars and surf's up. Like, you know, the news of the day is where is it breaking? And you just go and you watch or you surf, and sometimes the big waves are just awe-inspiring. And so I'll have my camera. We're going to be video blogging from there, so it'll keep you tuned in to the progress, to the changes that are going to be happening. What will be really interesting is upon my return, what my perceptions will be about the work I've, I'm leaving behind, because no doubt, I'll walk into the studio and something will click. I'll look at a piece that I've been struggling with possibly for the last few weeks and it'll be instant recognition of what needs to be done and that's how it, that's how it goes. So, thank you. Thank you universe for calling in this time to regroup, this time to cleanse and this time to basically eat love Pray, eat, pray, love, in my sacred, 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 sacred space and where my mother and Carlos also lie in, in the, at the cemetery there. So I'll give you a little, little tour of the island while I'm there. So yay, thank you for coming along. And I know I haven't shown much of my painting, the act of painting, because I've been sort of really sort of talking more during these video blogs, but I have so much video in the can. I've got so much I want to edit. I just haven't had the time. I've been just working round the clock and mostly in the evening hours, and it's just so exhausting. I'm so tired when I get home. I hardly get any daylight hours because I'm sleeping most of the day. So when I sit down to edit, I can be there for hours, and I'll never sleep. So I'm looking forward to having this time and space to edit some videos because I really love uh, the videos, and I want to show you the works in progress and do some time lapse with many of the works so you can see the progression. I always love that. So let's see how that works out. And we will see you from Hawaii, ne, Kauai, ne. And I bid you a fond aloha. And for those of you who are not familiar with the word, it's not just a hello and a goodbye phrase, but aloha symbolizes love. So aloha to you. I'll catch you on the other side. Ahui ho. Peace. Aloha.